So if you found this video, it's probably because you searched for something about an independent medical exam or an IME. And I get questions about them all the time. I just got one today, and so I wanted to talk about it for a second. Um, th here's the situation. You, you've been in a car crash, and you probably don't have a lawyer yet, and your insurance, your PIP, personal injury protection, the, the company that you bought your insurance from is paying for your medical bills and you're going to the doctor and you're getting the treatment that you need and then all of a sudden they say oh wait we want to send you for an IME an independent medical exam and the thing that you got to realize is there's nothing absolutely nothing independent about them in fact we call them DMEs or defense medical exam and even though it's your insurance company it is they're not doing you any favors they are sending you to a doctor for one reason and that's because they hope that doctor will tell them, oh, you're fine. You don't need to treat any more from your car crash that you were in. You should be done right now. That's my medical opinion. If that happens, then the insurance company, your insurance company, can stop paying for your medical bills. So what, what are your options? Well, I get calls from a lot of people who say, do I have to go? And, and the short answer is, yeah, especially if you don't have a lawyer. Because if you don't go, the insurance company will say you're being uncooperative and by uh, the terms of your contract with them, you have to cooperate. And that's a basis for just denying your benefits right there. It is recourse. There's things you can do, um, including in suing your own insurance company to force them to pay um, your medical bills. Um, so don't be fooled by the independent in the independent medical exam. How we deal with this issue is we have a whole medical department who tracks your treatment from the beginning. Um, so the earlier you come to us, the better. Um, and because we've got a whole team working on that, um, we're sometimes able to get the, the, the medical exam canceled completely. Or if it happens, we, get, um, we keep your benefits from being denied. That's how it should be handled uh, proactively from the beginning. And when you're looking for a lawyer, ask, ask about that. Ask about what kind of staff they have on hand to deal with, with medical issues as they arise, not a year later. If you find a good attorney from the beginning who knows what they're doing in these types of cases, you've got a much better chance of, of having, uh, having this not happen. So my suggestion is you know, talk to a really good lawyer who knows personal injury work and is a specialist in it who can help you figure out how best to handle it. But here I want to say, I, my natural thing is any good personal injury attorney would do that, and that's not true. Because <laughs> most of them don't do anything about it. 